Poverty, unemployment, and constant involvement of very powerful personalities have been identified as reasons that would continue to hamper the effective fight against illegal mining activities in Kwara State. The senator representing Kwara North Senatorial District, who is also the chairman, Senate Committee, Trade and Investment, Sadiq Umar, gave the explanation during the 39th Media Parliament of the Nigeria Union of Journalists and UJ Kwara State Council in Ilorin, the state capital. The activities of illegal miners, both local and foreign, in Kwara State, no doubt, is one that has continued to raise serious concerns, not just for the residents, but for security operatives who have made several arrests. Uh, we arrested some illegal miners, some Chinese national, 13 in number, uh, a female and 12 uh, male. Uh, they were arrested, like I said, for illegal mining. And they were mining in areas where they didn't have license to. Uh, and they were also uh, into uh, mining stones for quarry. The senator representing Kwara North Senatorial District and chairman Senate Committee on trade and investment, Sadiq Umar, says the battle is difficult because of poverty, unemployment rate, and involvement of powerful people in the act. He, however, says that both state and federal government will need to collaborate. That problem is hydra-headed, powerful people are involved, and it's not news. Anything that brings money anywhere in the world is trouble. And it's a difficult business to deal with. I can tell you this. For, yeah, it's difficult. I mean, if, for example, in Lade district, where mostly the way I've gone, this thing is going on, and then somebody is in a community, he doesn't get 2,000 naira to eat food. You are not giving him 2,000. He doesn't have a job. He goes to farm to farm and he struggles for six months, nine months, and he gets right, he sells a bag of right to, he only gets 15,000. Now he sees a mineral that people will come to dig and he will smile with 30,000, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000. It's a big battle to fight, I can tell you that. On his part, the state chairman of NUJ, Abdul Latif Lanre, maintained that a lot needs to be done to improve the standard of living in Kwara North Senatorial District, while Omar noted that over 500 free medical operations have been carried out. What is required to make the zone enjoy dividends of democracy? And it is our candid view that quality legislations and collaboration among legislators representing the zone in the, in the State House of Assembly and National Assembly will help in curbing infrastructural deficiencies, ampering it, and in turn, pave the way for development. We'll be able to do free medical services routinely in all our local government, where we mobilize our persons from the community to come and benefit from such services. In doing that, all these pioneer lymphomas and so on, we've done over 500 operations for those who needed it in the whole of Parliament. The consensus by the media practitioners at the event was that collaborative efforts between members of the Senate and House of Representatives from the state will go a long way in attracting meaningful development. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.